an alarm sounds aboard the International Space Station. When an alarm goes off in a spacecraft, you pay attention. It could be life or death. It signals dangerous levels of radiation. If this was coming from a natural source, they should have known because they keep track of these things. Whatever it was, it was big and it was sudden. April 14th, 2016, 249 miles above the Earth. The 47th crew of the International Space Station is 44 days into their mission to study the long-term effects of microgravity on the human body. The station's emergency alarm shatters the quiet. It's a loud, blaring alarm and you realize it can be a very serious event that you might have to spring into action very quickly. But the alarm gives no guidance about what's gone wrong. They have no idea what the problem is. Toxic gas leak, an onboard fire, a drop in air pressure. Any one of these could be fatal. The astronauts rush to diagnose the fault but one of the main computers is registering a malfunction. At Germany's ISS control center, the malfunction triggers an alarm, and engineers lose contact with the space station computer. There's something wiping out data, blocking communications. What the hell is going on? The events bear the hallmarks of a catastrophic burst of radiation. Control center engineers suspect solar activity may be responsible. But astronomers are not expecting solar flares anywhere near big enough to trigger a computer wipeout on this scale. You've got to ask, if enough radiation has gotten through to destroy the data management system, what has it done to the astronauts on board? Humans are very susceptible to radiation, so safe is not something you are in space. The incident arouses fears. Someone or something is deliberately targeting radiation towards the space station. A nuclear detonation generates an electromagnetic pulse. Put simply, this EMP can fry all sorts of circuitry and other equipment. A blitz of radiation powerful enough to knock out your data system is going to make you feel like you're under attack. If you want to knock out a spacecraft in one simple blow, radiation is a clean and simple way to do it. The nightmare scenario is the space station has been blasted by a nuclear weapon. None of the major powers have been known to test any nuclear device in space for many years. That doesn't mean someone doesn't have the capability today. Suspicion falls on a rogue state. U.S. intelligence fears North Korea is developing space weapon capabilities. Analysts consider the terrifying possibility the North Koreans have launched a nuke at the ISS. Are the North Koreans developing, or have they developed, an EMP weapon that could wipe out manned spacecraft? The North Korean nuclear testing program is shrouded in secrecy. We have no idea how big their testing is. Investigators analyze satellite and radar data, but find no evidence of a North Korean missile launch. The mystery arouses fears. The source of radiation may not be coming from within our solar system. Shortly before the incident, astronomers observe a supernova. The explosive death of a star. When a massive star dies in a supernova explosion, 
it'll spread radiation throughout the galaxy. And high energy cosmic rays from a supernova can create the type of damage that the ISS has suffered. We know that they're incredibly energetic events and they radiate energy out at incredible levels. So potentially it could be a devastating process. But the distance between the supernova and the ISS makes it an unlikely cause. The supernova was 2,000 light years away. Those subatomic particles, they're going to be diffuse by the time they hit the ISS. You would not have enough energy or enough particles to cause the type of damage that we see. Data from solar telescopes reveal the real culprit is closer to home. The sun has all sorts of activity on its surface that's caused by magnetic fields, and some of this activity is incredibly energetic. You think about the size of a nuclear bomb. The sun is the size of a billion nuclear bombs, and it's going off continuously. There are coronal mass ejections, there are solar flares, there are jets that fly out, and these events all send out solar protons. A series of solar flare explosions on the sun are detected just hours before the ISS radiation alarm sounds. The Earth is nearly 100 million miles away from the sun, but it only takes eight minutes for those charged particles to travel that distance. A massive burst of radioactive solar protons is on a collision course with the ISS. Here on the ground, we have an ionosphere protecting us, but 250 miles up in space, the astronauts don't have that. During my ISS mission, we actually did have a significant solar event where a lot more radiation was, was released, and so we were told during these parts, these different times of the orbit, uh, we were to retreat to the quote-unquote more heavily shielded parts of the station. The effects of this gigantic radiation event on the International Space Station astronauts are unknown, but many view radiation exposure as part of the job. The alarm tells me we're getting a heavy dose of radiation. I just say, darn, I wish that wasn't happening, uh, but I'll just go about my work. 